Hi, this is Matt McDonald with CalTV Entertainment News, and I'm here at the 2017 Sundance Film Festival for the world premiere of Don't Swallow My Heart, Alligator Girl. Your film is a love story, but there's also the historical background of colonialism and indigenous genocide. So can you please uh, explain a little bit about the historical context and the importance that it has in the film? Yeah, the film is like shot exactly in the border between Brazil and Paraguay and in, in a small city where like uh, really violent battles happened in the past. And so like a hundred years ago, but since today, people in this region has all this memory of this violence in the past. So the relationship in the social relationship and even the more like uh, personal relationship there is all uh, featured by this memory. So this film is this love story uh, between a Brazilian teenager and a Paraguayan teenager, but they have to deal with all this past uh, violence and how to try to transform it in something new or try to go through it and, and, and live what they, they can. Maybe it's an impossible love, but they are going to fight for this. I work with Galco Filpo, he's a Brazilian um, DOP, it's my first time working with him. Uh, we had this idea to work with the natural light of the region, but also creating some kind of uh, mysterious atmosphere there. Because one of the references of the film is some like uh, American film from the 80s, like The Warriors, and so this kind of action film that has some, you know, called, not, it's not just action, it had a lot of ideas and concept behind some this mix of realism and, and some magical and gen, gen uh, uh, atmosphere. So it was really fun to get all these uh, old, not old, 80s uh, genre movies from the United States and bring it to the South American reality. And there's some elements of magical realism in the film. Can you talk about how that adds to the story? All the film is like narrated uh, through the eyes and the imagination or the narration of this uh, joker, the young boy. So the idea was everything in the film has some some centimeters uh, higher, you know, up to the, the, the floor. Uh, so this is the idea, like, it's not like fantasy, but you're telling a story through the eyes of a 13-year-old boy who has all this pop reference, all this imaginary of adventure and pop reference, and how some way he's bringing this story to us. So when I was writing, when I was filming, I was trying to always imagine the scenes through his eyes. So I think the magic comes from, from him.